designer lift motion project. So we create another empty project with the name called lift motion 002 at this moment. And then we move everything first. As before, we are going to add the lead motion chart, which give us information about the hand movement. So we simplify the version with checking only one hand and one finger. So actually, we're not going to detect the finger for this one. So what we would like to do is to extract the palm information. And in particular, in this one, we're going to extract the rotation information. So that will be the hand zero palm rotation x, y, and z. So we are going to use only the Rx and Ry rotation in x and y direction. So we select the proper variables. So the one in the channel we select hand zero slash palm and then Rx and hand zero palm and then Ry. As before, we rename it to just Rx and Ry, such that it's much more easy to refer to. Okay, so that is the two pieces of information when I put my palm on top of the, the lip motion. And the second thing we're going to do is to prepare a 3D environment and we go back to the COM components your MP to choose like the geometry and then the camera and also the lighting with the three of them we're going to choose the render top to render the 3D object and put it into the output for output objects and for the 3D object we're going to use one predefined model so in the geometry double click to go inside and as usual we remove the default torus and instead we go to SOP to find the input so we create just a dummy input and we remember to turn on the two threads over here that's the display and render thread so otherwise you won't see your, your module okay so the next one we're going to download one free 3d models from for example like the resources in free 3d website that you can find a number of those free 3d models like in obj and then you can drag your model into your project folder and then from your project folder you can just drag it directly onto your, your touch designer project and that will come with a file in SOP that if you have a look so that will be something like this and you may find that the position is not in the proper way so we can just 
if you sub a transform right to rotate the head position such that we can have an upright position to work with so the rotate for x is probably like minus 90 and it's also have the back facing us and we're going to rotate in a y position for 180 degrees so that will be something like this and now we are ready to connect it to the geometry unfortunately through the camera you will find that the head is actually quite big so we can from the transform to we Reduce it to 0.1. That's one tenth of the original size. And if you take a look of the render window, so the, the images are a little bit just staying above the origin, the, the center of the screen. So in this case, we can also make some arrangement in the geometry so we can translate it downward that's a negative number in the y direction to make it more or less in the center of the screen and if you still find it too big in the view so you can like in the camera for example to move it away of the camera is at position such that that one appear to be a bit smaller or if you still want to you can further remove it from the screen okay and as usual you can also add a material so if you do not want to have the default gray color and also the surface example i add an phone material and then you can drag that one onto the render option that is the material over here so you can just drag and release here and to have a look you can also change the diffuse color such that you can have a little bit more more interesting result of your 3D objects okay so the next step is what we are going to relate the rotation x and rotation y into the rotation in the geometry of this 3D model that is the rotation x and rotation y here so we can also add a null object such that in case there will be any changes on the value we can also cater it somewhere over here and the step will be turn on the viewer active and then go back to the geometry and then drag this one for the rx to the rotation x x for the chop r y to the rotation y x for the chop and then you can put your palm on top of your um, lip motion controller it's found that if i rotate my palm x y and the rotation seems to be opposite direction of my movement so in that case so that would be possible for us to insert a mass operator between the select and also the null object with the mass we can do the multiplication in order to reverse the rotation order so we just might multiply it by minus one to help to make this change and then we can have a look yes so in this case the rotation 
and the of the hand and also the object kind of sync together. So the next step, of course, you can change like the view window and remove the border. And in order to have a look of the of my hand movement and also the corresponding motion of the 3D head model, so we can of course obtain a video device in and flip it horizontally and then afterward you can merge two of them together by putting a composite in between so add an operator composite and then send this one to here and then in the composite you can choose something like over that you have some kind of effect like this one you have the head on top of my video image and so if you want to you can play around with something like this so you move the camera a little bit closer to try to have a bigger head and then more or less cover my own head at this position and then you can get your lip motion over here with your palm so you can try to do something like this Okay, so I might put down my lip motion and then perform something like this. So actually I can just use one palm as well. And so if you want to, you can also go to the perform mode. It's this action. Okay, so that's it. So this is the second exercise. We use the 3D environment and also the lip motion controller.